Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of February 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. You can find all that information in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so let's see what's going on with Gemini. First half of February, 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the chariot, all right, crossed by the lovers. Okay, wow, so Cancer as well as Gemini energy showing up. Um, I feel like this this is likely you, all right? Um, I feel like you're trying to move in a particular direction, but it feels like you don't really know where you're going or it feels like maybe you have a hard time um, just really getting a handle of a certain direction that you're trying to take here. It could even be a little bit of rushing through a process. We'll see though. Um, definitely this is concerning a love connection that is very strong. Um, for the recent past, we have the tower. Ooh, okay, so something really big happened here. Um, this could be referring to an ending, or it could even be some kind of um, a revelation that took place, but it definitely was not easy. For your energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles, as well as the Page of Wands. All right, so it feels like you're really trying to be self-reliant. It could be that this is the new direction that you're trying to take. Of course, roles can be reversed or this um, initial situation could be referring to the other person. Okay, so take the messages as they resonate. Um, but I'm seeing you here really trying to be as independent as you can or more independent than before. And I feel like you're really looking at this new direction here with a lot of enthusiasm. Um, it could even be referring to self-worth, but we'll see more when we clarify. Um, for the other person here, Six of Wands and the Fool. This person is really trying to be successful at something. It feels like they're trying to take a new path as well. It just feels like something, something here that's going on. It's like there's this work in progress mutually towards something new that might feel like it is a risk. It, it feels very unknown or very, um, very foreign. Hmm. For the near future, we have the Knight of Cups. So yeah, that's love. Love definitely coming in. And a message for you here is the Eight of Wands. So this could be about communication, action, or just something happening really quickly. And it does feel like something is taking place here very quickly. I mean, I feel like something has already happened where it feels like it just kind of um, threw things up in the air. Like every, something was like torn apart, blown up, um, torn down. And then that is leading to having to rebuild, but it's like whatever it is that needs to be rebuilt, it feels like it's going to be um, in a completely different way, so it feels very unknown. And whatever this is, it, it feels like it's happening very quickly. I mean, we have the tower, we have the chariot, we have the fool, so a lot of like sudden um, events happening, things feeling a little bit like they're uncontrollable even, and not really knowing. So, okay, let's clarify this and see what's what's going on here. It's looking pretty interesting. Let's see that chariot with the lovers. All right, so we have the star, the star that, sorry, I got, couldn't really tell for a second there. It's the star, the four of swords, and the ten of wands. Great, Gemini. Yeah, there, this is definitely, there's a connection here that I feel um, 
not only is it very strong, it feels like it's been divinely guided and it's like a wish, something that you have been wishing for or something possibly that the other person has also been wishing for. Something is going on here. I feel like this tower has brought about a lot of healing, um, but it's also been a very, very difficult and long road is what I'm getting. So I don't feel like this is a connection with somebody that you have just met, or if you have just met them, it feels like, like it's been going on for a while, even if it hasn't been that long. For some of you, this could be um, having the lovers in the challenge position. It could be somebody having to make a choice here in love, um, possibly between two different situations. And this might be something that has been dragging out for a while. Whatever the case, there's a lot of he healing. Having both the star as well as the four of swords, there's a lot of healing, but it feels like things are moving in a direction where it just feels uncontrollable. It's something is feeling um, very new, not really knowing how to how to move about this, but it's also happening with enthusiasm as well as the sense of, I don't even know where I'm going, but it's okay. It might be difficult, but it's still okay. That's like the general feel that I'm getting here. Let's see this tower for the recent past. All right, and we have the lovers showing up again as well as the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, so this is definitely a connection where there was some kind of an ending or some kind of a betrayal, but definitely there was a lot of pain. Whatever happened here, because um, these are clarifying the tower, it has to do with this connection. And for some of you, if it's a choice that somebody's trying to make, well then it has to do with that choice. Almost like, you know, there was like some kind of a, oh, it's coming in like a forced ending. So by forced, I mean like, it doesn't feel so much like it was like you had much of a say in it, or it's like somebody didn't have much of a say in it. It was almost like, like it was forced. Like this is just how it had to happen. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles in your energy. So we got quite a bit here. So we have um, the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, and the Two of Cups. Your intuition is telling you to detach from a situation, to take some kind of action. Um, and if it's not to detach, 100%, it's to at least be independent and self-reliant. To find some sense of self-worth and like being dependent on your own self. So I don't know in what way this relates to this, um, to whatever is going on here with you and this other person, but that's what you're being called to, to do. I feel like your intuition is telling you that you know that because that is what is going to shift things. And it's at, that is actually moving you towards love. So I feel like this is the shift that is taking place for you. And this is something that might feel like, you know, it's, there's something new about it again, like there's something new about it, but I feel like you're feeling enthusiastic about this new path. Like maybe there's just something something new that you have realized or discovered within your own self or with or through the connection but about your own self but it's like this tower needed to happen in order for you to to understand something about yourself that is actually healing for you and is making you more self-reliant and it's bringing you more in tune with your intuition that is creating a shift that is creating a change, moving you away from whatever situation brought about this tower. That forced ending. Let's see the page of wands. So it feels like for you, it's like you're rebuilding yourself. Like there's a lot of action that is being taken um, in terms of some kind of a truth that you have discovered about yourself. 
All right, so for the Page of Wands, we have ooh, the Five of Cups and Death. So that's Scorpio energy here. Um, yeah, whatever this is, it's coming from a place of loss. But it's like that loss, that ending, it's actually leading to a, tran a transformation for you. Again, I feel like this reading, it's like it's all about endings, but also new beginnings. This new beginning may be with um, the same person that this ending um, happened with. All right, it doesn't have to be. It can definitely be something new. Um, but I'm getting that for a lot of you. It's with the same person here. Or if there was a choice here that needed to be made, um, either on their end or your end, it's with one of those people. All right, I don't necessarily feel like it's going to be somebody completely new, um, but although for some of you it definitely could be. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Six of Wands. And also when it comes to that rebuilding um, within your own self, it's like you're taking those first steps. You're taking those first steps, even if it's even if it's a little difficult. But basically, what I'm getting here is that most of the um, sorrow that you felt, or like the holding on to the past, or a pessimistic mindset, I feel like that is also what you are transforming. So it's like putting an end to that, um, to the sadness, or to the pessimism of the situation. And that's helping you to move forward. And that is what is bringing about something new, which will include love. All right, so for the Six of Wands, for their energy, we have the Six of Cups and the Empress. Okay, wow. Like I said, from the very beginning, this feels like it's a very, very deep connection, right? Very strong, very deep. Um, very spiritual. This person is wanting to pretty much have this connection with you, okay? Very plain and simple, very straightforward here. This is somebody who wants um, a reconciliation. There's a lot of nostalgia here for the connection um, with you, All right? This person is seeing you as, as an empress, as their person. And I feel like they, it's like this person wants to be deserving of you. I'm actually getting this person is very pessimist, uh, optimistic, optimistic and just feels like, you know, this, there's just no other way. Like this, <laughs> this connection just has to be, it has to be. Let me see the full. Four of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Cups. Look at all these cups. All right, definitely some of you might be dealing with a, um, with a water sign. Because we did also have Scorpio show up earlier. We have Gemini and Cancer. Yeah, so a lot of water showing up here. Or, you know, and if they're not a water sign, there's just a lot of emotions here. A lot of emotions that are playing out for this person. Um, it's like this person is ready to take a, take a leap here. Um, there's definitely a sense of disappointment for however things have worked out so far. But I feel like for the most part, they're, they're pretty much optimistic. They, they're, they're feeling a sense of disappointment for not already having this Ten of Cups with you. Because, I mean, the emotions are just so, so strong. Whatever it is that they're doing, um, they feel like it's taking a new path towards the unknown. Um, but it's like they're, they're ready for this with emotional stability. I feel like this is somebody who's ready for, for happiness, ready for love. 
It could be somebody who was settling in the past or just um, very passive. And it's like, there's this essence of, yeah, you know what, in order to have that Ten of Cups, a risk needs to be taken. Really positive reading, um, Gemini, other than that tower, which is in the past. Let's see the Knight of Cups coming up. I feel like it's like something big has already happened. I feel like the hardest part is already over. And it's like right now, it's just kind of um, preparing for something new is the way I'm getting it. Coming to terms with, yeah, okay, so this newness, right, it's, we don't really know where we're going. We don't really know where we're headed. I feel like you might not even be, like, exactly on the same page here. Like, I feel like you're not, you might not be aware of each other's, um, intentions here but it's like you're both actually working in parallel in this direction all right so for the knight of cups we have the king of wands and the hanged man yeah somebody's overcoming this obstacle of having been stuck Having been stuck in a situation, even though I'm getting, they weren't really stuck. Whoever it is, it wasn't really stuck. It was processing. Processing the situation and learning lessons. Having to see something from a different perspective. And I feel like that's, that's what the tower did. So... I don't know what this Knight of Cups is, but it's looking um, pretty good because it's attached to that King of Wands, which is telling me that obstacles are being overcome. So somebody is coming forward. All right, let's see the Eight of Wands. This is, it's like, a reading like this is so rare, it's almost hard for me to like believe it and like say what I'm saying, but, but that's what I'm seeing. So yeah, Gemini. <laughs> All right, so clarifying the Eight of Wands, we have the Emperor. Well, that's definitely quick movement um, from somebody who is really taking charge here, really has their shit together, basically. So if you are not in communication, I definitely see this as being communication, okay? But it can also definitely be um, more physical than that because the emperor goes all the way, right? And we have both the empress as well as the emperor out on the table here. So definitely a very, um, I I'm seeing this as a divine soulmate connection for sure. So what I'm getting here is the message for you is that really like things are beginning to, to pick up. The speed is picking up. Um, things are happening quickly after this tower. After this tower that you may have already gone through, Gemini. What a reading! All right, let's see if this resonated. Let's get a final oracle message for you. Give me one second. Get flu. And we have number 19, Naz, feel loved and proud. So yeah, I mean, I can definitely see <laughs> uh, why Spirit is saying feel proud because I feel like there's a lot that you have already overcome. A lot that you have already overcome and now it's like you're just ready to rebuild and um, jump into something new or a new way of being either within this connection or with your own self. Definitely something coming in though. So. Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.